Welcome back everybody and this week we're going to do a review on another Martinic product and this is the Lamb Echo Music Vintage Delay Plugin. And you can find this via martinic.com and there is a free trial so you can try it out for yourself and see what you think. Now usually I'd use this plugin on an organ or I'd use it on a synthesizer or if I'm trying to create a new sound but this time I thought it would be a bit different. So we're going to put it on an acoustic guitar and we're going to try it out on vocals and we're going to see what sounds it can make and what it can do to alter that original sound. So hopefully we'll come up with something good and if you like it you can find it yourself at martinic.com and let's jump right in. So firstly I just want to say that this is a fantastic graphics job again. It looks beautiful, it looks vintage and it's really respectful. They've gone the extra mile on this one. So I just want to see what we've got basically on a piano first. Panned left and right individual volumes controls. We have a little equalizer here for bass and treble on both sides. The echo amount and the repeat amount. And just like the other Martinic products, we can flip it around and we can see a more in depth, simple version of what we're actually editing and taking control of. Just see what we've got to start off with. Let's add a bit of reverb so we can, we can really identify the sound we're adding. You can see why I'd use this on piano usually or organ. Beautiful sound. Let's turn that up a bit. Let's turn up this echo. Let's see what we got going here. So you can get a real nice, I'd use this for something like a ballad, for example. It's nice that you have the option to go the extra mile with the effect if you really wanted to. Now, if you've got some headphones on or some decent speakers set up, you'd be able to experience this with us. But if you haven't, you just have to take my word for it. Let's try out this pan. Works perfect. Let's try it on the other side as well. Beautiful. So we'll get to the fun in a minute. I just wanted a, a quick little rundown for you guys. You can understand the ins and outs and a little bit of what this product has to offer. I won't share everything on it because I'm a true believer in experimental music. I want you guys to create something that you'll enjoy yourself and original sound. So when you download the trial, have a mess around and see what you can come up with. So let's jump in. Where did you go? Where have you been? Life was so perfect for you. I've been high as a cat, getting drunk all night Looking for something to do What was the reason? Why would you lie? I thought I would give this one last try I'm all in my shoes and you realize But I'm not perfect in your eyes Give me a reason Stars in the sky, no home in the heaven's floor. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this guitar from the verse. Now I'm going to keep the equalizer as it is for now because I really want to try out the Lem Echo built in equalizer to see what we can do with it. And what I like to do is I like to go over the same sample and keep editing until we get that right sound. Let's try a bit of reverb on it. What I always do is, I always go beyond it sounding what you want, so you always know when to stop. And I'll bring it back. Let's try reducing the echo first. Do you know your limit? 
drop it back down. I always about half it. So you get around the sound. This is all about experimenting. So you may not have the right sound at the start, but it's what you have at the end is what matters. I've been trying these different taps. Now everybody has different preferences, so I'm gonna stick with this and you may have a different opinion, but that's what music's all about. Having fun, experimenting, creating new sounds. So I'm gonna create an image here, and I don't do this very often, but if I was doing it on a live piece, for example, I would definitely do this. I've always done this. For me, it doesn't physically make sense to do this, but I love doing it. So what I do is I create an image of a guitar with this left and right equalizer. So what I do is I turn on the bass on the left hand side. And then I turn up the treble on the right hand side. And for me, I've always done it. But it creates a sense that you, you, you're looking at someone playing guitar. And also it separates the frequencies. And why I'm doing this is because if I put the low ends of the frequency onto the left and the high ends onto the right, it gives them more room to breathe. And it gives a more natural sound as if you were in the room with them. So I love that it has this built in to the plugin. This really makes a difference. So we need to make the transition from the verse to the chorus as smooth as possible, but without noticing any massive change in echo in this plugin effect. I wouldn't have much echo effect on a strummed uh, guitar. I'm not a big fan of that, but if you don't experiment, you'll never know. So it's all about experimentation in music, and we're gonna try that out today. I won't do much to it uh, because I don't think it needs it. I wanna make the transition from the verse, the plucked guitar, into the chorus seamlessly. So let's give that a go and see what we can do. I've already turned up the equalizer to the other, the bass and the treble to match. Mm -hmm. You see how it doesn't need much, but the little bit you add makes such a difference. And the reason you don't want much effects in a guitar for a chorus is because the lead should be the vocals. The vocals need to stand out, and when they're prominent, uh, you don't want the guitar taking it all away from the vocals, you know. It shouldn't be overlapping the echo of the vocals. So I'm happy with that, and now we're going to move on to the vocals and see what we can do with that. Where did you go? Where have you been? Life was so perfect for you. I've been high as a cat, getting drunk all night. Looking for something to do. We always start off low, work up, find the middle. Where did you go? Where have you been? I love this, yeah. You always know if it's active or not, and how much input is going into it. Life was so perfect for you. What's the reason? Why would you lie? I thought I would give him this one last try. You see how it starts tipping here? I'm out of my shoes and... and you turn it down, meet halfway. Beautiful. Slip around. Let's try with the reverb. Where did you go? Where have you been? Life is so perfect for you. I don't want to sound like I'm in a swimming pool, so I knock this down quite low. We'll mess around with the sound a little bit. I don't want to give too much away because this you've got to do it yourself, and every vocal is, is different, So and for what sound you want for the song. But uh, this is really fun, so you got to give this one a shot yourself. I've been high in the sky, getting drunk all night. Looking for something to do. What was the reason? So let's try a bit of EQ on this. See what the inbuilt EQ is like. Now, vocals, you want to mess with the high end. I'm going to turn down the bass a little bit because the bass is quite heavy on the guitar. And I want to give it space to breathe. 
Now I've been messing around with these taps here. Now, when you're doing it yourself, just see what you think sounds best. I personally like this setup going on here. As you know, I don't like messing with sine waves too much. But this, this makes you stand out a little bit. Plug in onto acoustic guitar and vocals. It, it really is something different. So give it a shot and see what you can come up with. It's interesting because usually I'd use uh, a lot of plugins. Uh, I'd use an equalizer, compressor, uh, echo, reverb, uh, anything that's going really to create all these different sounds. Now this has a lot built in so you can use it all in one and it's very good. It's impressive, honestly, I'm really impressed with it. I do recommend using this on digital instruments, organ, piano, um, I even try it on percussion. Uh, you can get some great sounds out of percussion. Uh, I'd use it on a Dejembe. Now that is quite a picture. So let's try it out now on the chorus vocals and see what we can do. So the same again, we want it seamlessly from the verse, but we want it to stand out a little bit. So we don't want it flooded in effects. But we want it to sound a little bit better than being recorded in a soundproof room. The stars in the sky in my home in heaven's floor. Now usually I'd add loads of compression, DSs, limiters, stuff like that, for example, on the vocals. But today we're just going to concentrate on what the Lamb Echo can do by itself. So let's match this EQ a little bit, turn up the treble, let it stand out, turn down the bass, you don't want it too high. Let the uh, guitar fill in the gaps within the mid and the bass and let the vocals stand out proud up front. I love this graphics here. It makes you feel like you're in the room with this plugin. It's beautiful. So I think that was a little bit a little bit too much, but that's good. That's good. We can tone it down. The same thing again. Turn down the echo and the repeat. So we can find the right balance. The stars in the sky. No. see it starts picking up here and that's when you know when to stop you don't want it sounding too complex and drowned out by the effects never I've just realized there's a beautiful illumination here when you turn on <laughs> I love that I love these these little bits they go the extra mile every time I know so let's turn down the echo and let's try that again Stars in the sky, no. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's try it with added some reverb. The stars in the sky, no. Okay, so the reverb sounds really good in the chorus. I do like this. So I'm going to probably keep it a bit higher than the verses. So I could change the panning on here. And I'll just show you, for example, what it sounds like. Now, I wouldn't do that with 
vocals but if i was if i was recording some backing vocals for example i maybe set one of them more left and one more right to give it more room to push forward that lead vocal in the middle so this is really fun and i would love to try this on some backing vocals at some point that would be really cool and there's plenty of things i haven't covered on this plugin i'm going to leave that up to you to experiment or else i'm going to be here for a long time and uh You'll have a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I wanted to show that plugins can be used on anything. So experiment and put them on your acoustic guitar, put them on your brass instruments, put them on vocals and your djembes and whatever whatever you want. And try a, sl try a slam out, tell me what you think, and I highly recommend it. I, l I love quality. I know, you, I know the graphics are amazing, they always are, and they go that extra mile, um, but to give you a sense of the real product right in front of you, physical product is amazing. They always have this in-depth controls on the back, and you can experiment, change the taps, you know, you can, you can really go in-depth with this and create the perfect sound. Model the sound for you. So make sure to download the trial from martinic.com. They also have a Twitter, so do I, uh, at One Tape Jack for me. And tell us what you think. Have fun with it and uh, experiment. Music's all about experimentation. And add this to your, your pop music, your classical, to whatever you, whatever you fancy. And uh, create a new sound. Be different with it. Have fun. Let's have a little listen on what we did today and how we change these original sounds. Thank you everybody for watching, and I really appreciate your time. Where did you go? Where have you been? Life was so perfect. I've been high as a cat, getting drunk all night Looking for something to do What was the reason? Why would you lie? I thought I would give this one last try A mile in my shoes and you realize That I'm not perfect in your eyes